Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee. It's hard to believe, but here we are at the end of January, and it's time to talk about Lent. As you know, the season of Lent is the uh, season of the Christian year, where followers of Christ are supposed to prepare themselves to receive the good news of Easter morning, that Jesus Christ is risen, that death has been conquered. Well, we need time to prepare ourselves to examine where we are in our faith and what it means to be a Christian in the world we live in. And the season of Lent does that, or at least it's supposed to. There are five Sundays of Lent, followed by Palm Sunday and then Holy Week. Well, that first Sunday of Lent is February 14th, just a few weeks from now. Our church staff, in talking about what we might do as a congregation uh, to prepare ourselves, chose to do a book study, uh, a church-wide study where all of our small groups and individuals without small groups would all be focusing on one text, and we decided to write our own. Finding Peace in an Anxious World is the result of that conversation. I wrote it with the help of our staff, and it deals with seven of the most common causes of anxiety in the world and what the Bible's response to those causes are, what the Bible says to us about finding the peace of Christ in our lives and the spiritual practices we need to incorporate so that we can rest in Christ's peace. Well, I want to encourage you, now is the time to uh, order one of these books. Our cost for the book is $5. That's the printing as well as the shipping. Um, you can order them in the church. You can go to our church website. Uh, you can even get a Kindle version. It costs a little less, I believe. You can go to Amazon and pick one up for yourself, but it costs a little bit more there. Our goal is that you'll buy not just one book at $5, but you'll buy two. And the reason is this. Uh, I'm standing in front of the board welcoming all of our new members. One of the things we discover, just as is true across the nation, is that the great majority of people who come to our church, who don't have a church home elsewhere and they come for the first time, do so because they are invited by a friend, a relative, a neighbor. And so we want you to think about purchasing two books, one for yourself, and then one you can use to just make that connection with somebody that doesn't have a church home. That you can say, hey, this is a study we're doing about finding peace, and we'd love for you to participate. You can join me in worship. I'll meet you there. Or if they're uncomfortable joining you in worship, they could watch on the live stream on Sunday mornings at 9.30. Just a way to make that connection. So, I want to encourage you to prepare now, to have a great Lent, to uh, order a book. And if it's not this study, what are you going to do during that season of the year to prepare yourself to receive the good news of Jesus Christ and his resurrection? I hope you have a great day.